Good morning everyone, it's Julie at the Paper Bag Lady 1 and I have a project to show you today. Okay, you might remember a couple weeks ago I got a box from my friend Paula. We were doing a swap, a cigar box swap, and I was barely started on hers. I've been, it's been months and Paula, I'm so sorry, but I have finally finished it. Yay! So I finished this. I thought I would video and show it. Uh, I will not be posting this until after Paula gets it because I don't want her to get a sneaky peeky. Um, but at any rate, <laughs> so here is the cigar box that I made for Paula. Okay. Now you have to know <laughs> that Paula loves Peter Rabbit. Um, I think she generally likes Beatrix Potter, but I know she likes Peter Rabbit. So I have decided to make her a Peter Rabbit box. Um, so I really, really hope that she will like it. So let me tell you about this box. So this started life as a regular cigar box that I got for 75 cents at my favorite little thrift store. And the first thing I did was to paint it. Um, I'm sorry, the lighting in here is so horrible is to paint it. You can kind of see this kind of antique white creamish color underneath. Um, I painted it that color and then the plan, the, <laughs> the plan was to crackle it with the green, um, the green over top. Well, <laughs> I am really horrible at the crackle technique. <laughs> I practiced, I couldn't do it. I said, you know what? Forget it. <laughs> We're not going to crackle. So what I found was this little brush that I had. It's kind of, um, it's kind of wiry feeling. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it's called. So I took this and the first thing I used was this color traditions, Aspen green acrylic paint. And I just took it and or maybe you can see better on the bottom. I went all over the box boom, 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 like this all over it. And then it was done and I looked at this and I said that green is too dark. <laughs> so then I took this green, which is sage green, and I mixed it with this white paint to get a little bit lighter color. And then I took this again and I went over it a second time and um, not nearly as, as, as heavily as the first one. So I don't know if you can see the, the different a little bit lighter green on top. And so then after I did that, I looked at the box and I said, now I am happy. <laughs> I can continue. So I knew all along that I was going to be using this and this actually came from, wait, I have it. The Peter Rabbit storybook playset. And it kind of popped out and it had these pages in it of all these different things. And so I took this page of Mr. McGregor's or Farmer McGregor or whatever he's called his garden. And so I knew I was going to use that. And I also knew I was going to use this little tiny Peter. Is he not cute? Look, he came from this game, which I found at my Salvation Army, the Beatrix Potter pads and burrows. And it came with a little pot. Sorry, this lighting is awful. I need better lighting. Um, this little pot, whoa, sorry. And then um, Peter and Flopsy and Mopsy and Cottontail also. But as you can see, one of them is missing an ear. I don't know if it's Flopsy, Mopsy or Cottontail. Poor guy. Um, so I don't know what I'll do with them. I'll make another box maybe. I guess I could paint their jackets blue if I really wanted to, to get another Peter. But at any rate, um, so I wanted to use my little Peter there in the cabbage patch or the garden. And then I made these, um, flowers, which I think kind of look like cabbages. <laughs> so they're my cabbage flowers. I'm sorry. I keep walking away because I don't think to get everything ready before I start. So, um, those are my cabbage flowers. And then those were just made with some of the Prima Eline flowers that they used to have. Oh my gosh. I can't stand the light in this room. Um, anyway. So I made some cabbage flowers and put them in there. So it looks like he's in the garden. And then this came from one of my Peter rabbit books. So I just took this and distressed it on the edge and then just took a piece of like a tannish cardstock underneath. And then when I set it on, I said, well, it's not quite right. So then I got this blue trim, which actually it's kind of buried, but here you can see what it actually looks like. 
there. I got this blue trim and kind of put it underneath and then this cream one all around the edge. And um, yeah, so that's the outside of my box. And when my daughter saw it, she squealed so much that she got a coughing fit. She, she was sick, homesick on Monday when I was working on this. And the poor kid was hacking and coughing and carrying on, but she really liked the box. So that is the outside of the box. And then we open up the box and inside the box, wait, let's move this. You can see there's the inside of the box. And so there's Peter eating carrots. We have some more of this blue trim around here. And this is from one of my multitude of Peter Rabbit books, more flowers. And then these little doodads right here are from an old Peter Rabbit board game that a friend gave me. Um, I love them. I think they're so cool. So we put some of those in there. And then down to the bottom of the box, we have, oh, it's a mini. Well, let's move it for the time being. We have Peter again. And then we just, I just put some, um, I punched I think it's an EK Success border punch and I punched around there and then put some more of this cotton trim in there. So there is the box for Peter. Let's move him aside and then let's take a look at this. This is the mini and this is not a very fancy mini. Paula, Paula made me that awesome junk journal and it's got all these fun cool things in it and you know I make paper bag albums and I don't really do a lot of fancy stuff to them. I don't put a million pockets and flips and things like that and I really should like do that sometime because it's really very cool but I didn't <laughs> and this is actually like I said a pretty simple album and I didn't really embellish it much or do much of anything to it because frankly I thought um, Beatrix Potter's artwork could sort of speak for itself so this came from a book several a combination of several Beatrix Potter books um, but this was like the inside cover page of one and actually it said giant treasury of Beatrix Potter because the book was really big but I don't think we needed the giant on there and then you go inside and then every page is just a different um, one of her stories of her tale. So here we have the tale of Peter Rabbit and this was the little um, drawing that was at the front right under like on the book it said the tale of Peter Rabbit and then it had that underneath. And then also in each pocket we have a little stamp and these are all little Beatrix Potter characters around here. My friend Taya sent this stamp to me. Taya, thank you! I love it! Um, but this could be used for some journaling. I suppose if I was really um, creative and determined and committed and patient, I might actually have colored these or some of them, but there's one in every pocket. And frankly, I don't like to color those little tiny things. If I'm going to color, I want crayons and a big coloring book, but anyway, and, um, so, and then there's a photo mat in there. So Paula can, um, keep it as it is. She can save it for maybe one day if she has kids, um, you know, you could put pictures on the back or right on the back of that or whatever. But at any rate, so there's the tale of Peter Rabbit and here's the tale of Jemima Puddle Duck, which frankly is just fun to say, if nothing else. Here's the tale of Tom Kitten. I know she likes Tom Kitten. I've, I've seen her yell it on the screen, on the chat <laughs> sometimes. Um, the tale of Mrs. Tiggy Winkle. The tale of Squirrel Nutkin. The Tale of Two Bad Mice, which while I was making this, every time I glance over, I think it would say Two Bald Mice, and then I would laugh a lot. <laughs> um, anyway, The Tale of Benjamin Bunny. The Tale of Timmy Tiptoes. I'd never heard of Timmy Tiptoes before, but darn, those little squirrels were cute. I'll put that one in. Here we have The Tale of Jeremy Fisher. Excuse me, Mr. Jeremy Fisher. And finally, The Tale of the Flopsy Bunnies. So that, and then on the back, this was the inside of one of the books, and I just really liked this image. I thought about using this on the cover of this album, but it didn't work with what was inside, but I had to use it, so we put it on the back. And so we have a list of all the, um, all the little Beatrix Potter books. So anyway, so there is my box and my mini for Paula, and I hope, I hope she likes it. Oh my goodness, I had so much fun doing this. I truly did. Once I got going, I know it sometimes it takes me a while. <laughs> Things I have to think in my head, but you know what? I was really pleased with this box when it, it finished. And I have to be honest, Paula, I want to keep it, <laughs> but I won't because it's for you. Um, it, I don't often make things that I want to keep, but I really am fond of this Peter Rabbit box. Um, but I have pictures of it. Now I have a video of it. And so I can look at it and enjoy it whenever I want. Um, 
And so I hope that it will be well loved in its new home. So Paula, I will be getting this off to you soon. By the time you see this, you'll already have it. Um, but anyway, so I hope the rest of you enjoyed seeing it. Um, thank you ever so much for watching all my videos. I hope you have a great day and a great rest of the week. And um, I will talk to you again soon. Bye.